Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is a video on how to see foam a Master Speed 3. Um, difference between Master Speed 3 and the normally naturally aspirated engine is the vacuum holes to feed the sea foam into the engine is a bit different on where it's located. So first of all, we start by popping the hood. Now it's the time for you to unclip that blue hose. That blue hose there um, it feeds just behind the throttle body and that vacuum there will suck all the sea foam into all four cylinders of your DC turbo. Okay, now I finally be I was able to uh, unclip the clip and once you're done just pull it straight out and set it aside. See where this nipple is? Um, now you're gonna find a hose that fits correctly. So let me grab my hose here. So, for example, this hose here. Now you want to do all of these when your engine is off. When your engine is running, it will suddenly run a bit rough, like really rough, and it might stall on you. So now connect the hose to it, and the other end of the hose, all you have to do is get a container of sea foam, or whichever container the hose is sea foam there, and slowly feed through this hose here. Not yet, only when you start your engine. So go ahead, start off your engine, it will run a bit rough and slowly feed in the sea foam into this hose here. Now, when you feed the sea foam, don't pour it really, really fast, pour it slowly. So, I'll try to show you an example rate of how I pour my sea foam. For example, this is the rate I feed my sea foam into it. This is not sea foam, this is just washer fluid. So, just give me a second here. Now this is the rate you want to feed your sea foam into it. All right. If you put a lot of sea foam all at once, it might stall off your engine. So now this is how you sea foam your engine. Um, then after that, turn it off. I believe the instructions for sea foam says five minute wait and stall off your engine. It's gonna smoke a lot. Don't forget when you're done with your sea foaming uh, to connect back this hose here is vacuum hose. Let's put it all the way in. And it's okay if your hose is um, a little bit wider than this nipple here uh, because the vacuum will suck basically all the sea foam in. So, okay, there we go. Let's clip it back into place and you're good to go. Clip back your um, vacuum hose before you start off your engine. Alright, so pour the sea foam in, uh, get the hose back together before you start off your engine and it will smoke out. Alright, thanks for watching. This blue clip here, should kind of pull it open a little bit. That will loosen up the hose. Just pull the hose straight up. Kinda kinda have to work it. Now you have to unclip this clip here. To do that, simply pull back this clip here to loosen it and pull it out. So, 